In this video, I'm going to be going through my match day 5 World Cup fantasy team. We're almost at the end. Thank goodness I have had a shocker, but my match day 5 team has looked pretty good and we're going to go through it in this video so be sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button hit those notifications on uh so you don't miss any more videos for me on world cup fantasy and soon to be back to fpl so i'm looking forward to that without further ado let's get into the video and for match day five i've come up with this monstrosity uh that's right uh i hope i think it's good uh i hope it does well but knowing my luck it probably won't, but you know, it is what it is, so let's get into it. So in goal, we've got Diogo Costa. Uh, Portugal, not too bad, not too bad. I don't think they're going to win the World Cup, but you know, they look very decent against Switzerland. So I'm expecting great things from them. So we've got Costa in goal, you know, just because, because, you know, Morocco, you know, Morocco, they're not necessarily a high scoring team per se they are good at keeping goals out but you know goal score high goal scoring not so much so you know i i feel like he costa has more of a chance of getting a clean sheet than nopper for example against Lionel messi's argentina so that is why he is in net in the defense we've got some brazilians we've got marquinhos and Thiago silva you know brazil are just man they look like they're gonna win the world cup so you know Got to have a lot of these Brazilian players in there. You know, how could you not with their performances? So, you know, for Marquinhos and Thiago Silva, you know, Croatia is, is more of the, out of the eight teams, I'd say they're, I'd say they're one of the weaker ones. So I feel like having Brazilian players would be a good shout to have in your teams. And obviously you can put four here. I think you can put five, no, but for sure you can put four because i've got them here so four brazilians i don't think you can go wrong so yeah that's that we've got denzel dumfries against argentina what a performance against what was it the usa yep the usa what a performance two assists and a goal i was so mad they got they scored the us you know when haji writes goal that was the flukiest goal as well and it cost us all clean sheets for Dumfries oh my god it's just how it is sometimes but you know Dumfries Argentina this is probably not a good combination but you know I don't really have much choice I'm not liking England's chances of keeping clean sheets against France because we've got <laughs> this guy here <clears throat> excuse me so yeah I could put Saka in for him but I ju I'm just not too so sure. I'm just not sure right now. It could change, but for now, I've gone with Dumfries because, you know, he definitely plays and, you know, he's one of the best Dutch players at the World Cup. So that's that. And finally, wrapping the defense, we've got Diogo Dalot. I did have Joao Cancelo in back there, but I swapped him for Delo because Joao Cancelo did not play in the last game. So, and obviously, Portugal performed supremely well against switzerland so i feel like mr santos will stick to how they s lined up and set up so i expect diogo dalo to be starting that game against morocco so that's my thinking in the defense let's get into the midfield okay the midfield we've got a sweet midfield we've got lucas paqueta uh, did score in the last game against uh what was it korea yep that was it korea uh pretty good that brazilian team's performance was excellent so i'm expecting yeah um uh brazil to have a better performance and their players to yeah continue performing because man they look so good they they definitely can win the world cup i would not be surprised one bit and uh, next we got bruno fernandez um yeah the best midfielder in this world cup fantasy game and in the performing in the world cup so uh I'll always need to have uh in your squad per se obviously the choices are getting very limited as the other teams are getting knocked out so uh, i don't see why you don't have bruno fernandez in your squad so yeah that's that against morocco as well you know gotta give credit to morocco wonderful world cup tournament but you know i just feel like it's about to end in this game so no 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 dis no disrespect though no disrespect and fair play to morocco but you know i just feel like 
Portugal, they got that little bit more, you know, Spain are a bit, you know, young, so, you know, and Portugal, they got a bit more experience, so I think they'll do better there. So we've got, next we got Alexis McAllister against the Netherlands. And not so sure about him, to be honest. Be I know he, the only reason he's in there is because I know he starts for uh, Mr. What was it? Scaloni, the manager. Yep, Scaloni. And yeah, he's just in there. Did score. Can have, has potential to, you know, score some points. So that's why he's in the team. So that's the midfield. I'm a bit so-so on it, but you know, what can you do? Every team in the final eight is very tough. So yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta run with your gut and see who you think are is going to perform. So these three are, are the ones I think they're going to perform. So we go with them. And for the front three, I don't think you can go wrong with this. We got Kylian Mbappe. My goodness. This guy is probably the best player in the world right now. What a player. The way he can just get power out of not kicking the ball so hard. But I don't know if that makes sense, you know. But he gets so much power without necessarily whacking it super hard. It's it's just unreal. I've, it's very rare to see something like that. And yeah, he's just special, especially for our friends as well. Playing off that left, cutting inside and scoring. So, and I expect him to continue that against England. I know Mr. North Door, the manager, uh, is not is known to be a solid manager, but you know at defensively wise but you know for this time i think france have just got too much so that's that we've got richarlison what a performance against in the world cup you know not necessarily doing it for tottenham but doing it for brazil worthy at the number nine jersey for brazil and yeah yeah he he is likely to score in my opinion at least and against croatia yeah there's potential there potential there yeah no Brazil are going to be very, very attacking, so I expect some nice things from him. And obviously, Lionel you know, Messi, I mean, do I really need to say why? He is just, yeah, he he is Messi. You know, that's all you need to say. You, you know, he he's going to, yeah, man. Last World Cup, he's got to go out with a bang, so I'm expecting great things from him. And that wraps up my team. We On the subs, we got Noppert, you know, I feel, like I said, I feel like Costa has got more of a chance of a clean sheet. Luke Shaw not liking the chances against France, but you know, handshakes. Obviously, you, uh, lineups you can sub on uh, players prior to starts of game, so things could change. But you know, this is what I'm going with for now. We got Klaassen against Argentina. Uh, I feel like the other three are better options, and Saka. You know, could could come on, could come on. You know, let's see let's see how I'm feeling on game day. So that's my team. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it and what changes you potentially would have made and. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave a like, hit that subscribe button with notifications. And yeah, follow me on socials as well. The links are down below. And I'll see you in the next video.